What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about in this one something a little bit different and more so looking towards the future rather than what is right in front of us here. We got Infinite Warfare coming up, Modern Warfare Remastered coming up, and Black Ops 3 content still rolling out, but today we're actually going to talk about next year. We're going to talk about Call of Duty 2017. Now, I don't mean to say this in any way, shape, or form like a leak or anything like that, so don't get your hopes up for this, but rather instead why Sledgehammer Games has the potential and very well possibly could save the Call of Duty community for a lot of people's perspectives. A lot of people absolutely hated the idea of advanced movement and more specifically in recent years, the very far future that we've gone into for the time setting. So with this, we're gonna be talking about why Sledgehammer could actually bring it back to what everybody loves, get rid of both of those two things and then bring it back to the Call of Duty that a lot of people will claim to have known and loved for years. So before we get too far into it, if you guys enjoy this, drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing to stay up to date here with this. But this is nothing but a working theory, a working hypothesis here with this. I can't say with any certainty that this will happen. It's just a matter of how things could play out and if they will is something that time will tell. So let's talk about this here firstly with the movement system. A lot of people were not a fan of the advanced movement in advanced warfare and then a lot a lot of people were not a fan of the thruster movement or the chain based movement system in Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare now coming up with this year. But what a lot of people don't realize is this was segmented off into blocks. The three year development cycle is something that was introduced with Sledgehammer and at that point in time is when we had pretty much a fresh start for what we could see for Call of Duty for three years. However, that was actually greenlit and sent back a couple of years beforehand. I'll put up an image on screen that showcases everything I'm going to be saying here in general, but in a little bit more later layman's terms and just freeform discussion here with it. Basically, Black Ops 2 started, players were kind of growing tired of the same old copy and paste. That was something that you'd heard every single year up until, say, Advanced Warfare, where Call of Duty was a copy and paste game where everybody just took the same thing, built off it, changed very subtle differences, and then released it as a new title. There was criticism on not enough innovation, things like that, where it was a copy paste game year over year, and players wanted a little bit of a change. So at this point in time, or slightly before beforehand, right after Modern Warfare 3 was completed and Black Ops 2 was officially released, that's when Sledgehammer and Infinity Ward started to go towards their next opportunities and titles here within the Call of Duty franchise. We didn't know at the time that Sledgehammer would have their own standalone title here, that they wouldn't be any sort of backup developer anymore, they'd now be their full-fledged studio pushing out a title of their own. We didn't know that at that point in time, but around that point, whenever Modern Warfare 3 finished up, Activision presumably said, hey, alright, we're looking for some changes here, give us what you got, we can see what we can do here, and then if we like it, we can set this whole development cycle to giving players change that they've been asking now for for years. That then brings up the idea then of the next three years, the development cycle being dedicated to advanced movement, different systems in the gameplay, all that kind of stuff, where we saw specialists, combat rigs, advanced movement, and verticality, that kind of stuff. It was set at the very beginning of this, and Advanced Warfare introduced these changes. Players were kind of on the fence here at the very beginning, but grew tired of it, so I will say 100% I recognize that players did not like the advanced movement and even still today don't really like it that much but you got to take into consideration that at this point in time because it was all set it was all predetermined Black Ops 3 was already over halfway done with its development cycle here with this the way that it worked we were already two years into development of Black Ops 3 so you could not realistically scrap that idea of getting rid of it we may have seen it toned down a little bit because of what advanced warfare's criticism had so it is possible I'm not saying it's likely but it is possible that it was was toned down from what it was previously as a result of the criticism and then Infinite Warfare is the same exact way as well. Infinite Warfare, though a lot of people weren't okay with Black Ops 3's movement compared to Advanced Warfare's, there was still a large public outcry to get rid of it, but once again it was already way too far into development to turn back at that point. If any of these studios would have turned back, I guarantee you that players would have complained more, hated it even more, if they would have gotten a half completed version of what they were initially supposed to get. That's something you just cannot go back from a half Having that much progress made and just reverting it because well you're then working double the time in half the amount of time just to try and get back to where you were by the release of your game so all that said and out of the way then that's three years that's that development cycle the bracketed portion off of it here that has gone to the future that has gone to space that has gone to advanced movement verticality all that kind of stuff that people want to revert back to once again it was predetermined and now that the three years is almost over then that leads into the next title here sledgehammers next concept and release for call of 
Duty. That is something that I think we have a lot of hope for here. And it is the first game of a fresh cycle, a brand new three-year development cycle at this point in time. And at this point, they've had tremendous and ample amounts of time to be able to listen to the community feedback and be able to make something that the community will then like and enjoy. And with all of the recent hate for Infinite Warfare, I would be extremely surprised if we even touch the future with a 10-foot pole and if we even touch advanced movement with a 10-foot pole. If it is something that bearing all this in mind that we still have another futuristic title, another advanced movement title within Call of Duty next year, then I think it's time we actually have the right to complain here as a community because, well, it's something that then is now a brand new development cycle. There is a ton of different feedback from that cycle from whenever Sledgehammer made their last game, but it's something that I don't think it's going to get to that. I don't truly believe that will have another futuristic title. I honestly believe we're going back to the past and or maybe just here in the modern present times. Sledgehammer has always expressed interest about wanting to do a Vietnam shooter. They had plans and they actually scrapped the development of a Vietnam third person Call of Duty. So though it probably wouldn't be third person, third person Call of Duty has never really worked out in the franchise. There's been a decent amount of attempts by various different studios and developers to make a third person, but it never actually got pitched and it never actually actually made it past either the initial planning and screening and idea pitching or they just never made it past very early early alpha builds of the game that never really made it even out of just test missions for it. But that said that still means the idea, the concept, the campaign, the storyline that they wanted to follow is still very fresh in their minds and even in an interview with Glenn Schofield they mentioned that they would definitely without a shadow of doubt pick right back up if they had the opportunity to do so and well I personally think that this is the best time to do so, so Sledgehammer, if you guys somehow see this video, if you guys somehow have the community reach that you can reach into my mind and get these ideas out there, you said it, this is the perfect time to do so here with it, especially going into this after all of the criticism, all the feedback, all that kind of stuff the past couple of years. But I honestly think that for those of you guys that have not enjoyed the past three years of Call of Duty, I personally don't mind, I'll play whatever, I'm a COD fan at heart. It doesn't bother me, but I know there's a huge bunch of people out there that are not a fan of this at all. If you guys are in that category in that group there is light at the end of the tunnel i believe here with this i think this three-year development cycle is the only sole period of call of duty where we'll have all this extra stuff here with it microtransactions and customization i think will be coming into the next title but that's something that doesn't affect the gameplay overall that's going to be something that is just subsidiary and part of the experience but boots on the ground call of duty and past and or modern is going to be where we're going here with 2017. At least that's my theory, that's my speculation. Once again, it is not in any way, shape, or form confirmed, but it is something I want to let you guys know about here, give you guys some basis on where this has been coming from, and my thoughts for the upcoming year. But I'm excited for Infinite Warfare, you guys may not be, but regardless, leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Do you guys want to see 2017's Call of Duty go to past times like the Vietnam era Call of Duty they worked on before? Do you want it modern, whatever it may be, or do you maybe even want to see it go to future again here and say Advanced Warfare 2? If you guys go completely against the grain of what this video is about, that's totally cool. I hold Nothing against that. You guys are more than welcome to your opinion, but leave it down there in the comments. Where would you like to see 2017 go? But thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like down below if you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys are new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything Infinite Warfare here. And of course, we'll see more stuff going forward as time goes on. But thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nikolai Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.